there and set the roots in there for to soak for a little bit. Okay. This is better than hard. This is more okay. easy. Let me show you. See? Stop it. See? Stop. Okay, so you need to go like that. Dip it in here. Okay. Just and try not to breathe this. This has got See? fine particles. See? Just touch the roots to the... Ready. Okay, now can you get it in here? Does it look bad? You, you hold. Wow. Ah. Gee whiz. See? Okay. That's good. All right, so these seven gallon grow bags <laughs> are exactly the same top space. Uh, oh, here's a worm. Oh, gotta get that in there. It's a little bit. It needs to go that way. Look, it's crooked. Put the dirt on this side and maybe we can go a bit better. How about this one? Maybe. We'll figure out something else for the rest. This good. Okay. Well, number one. And then Wait, wait. Oh, put it. I mix. Coffee? Mm hmm. Oh, I forgot this. Okay. So we're using some alfalfa pellets, some coffee grounds. And my amendments mix. And now these are drawstring bags, so they go like that. <laughs> oh. I've never tried the drawstring. We'll see how that goes. Okay. All right. That's number one. Leave it back. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's one o'clock and past time for a lunch break, and I'm having red seedless organic grapes with raw milk, Monterey Jack, jalapeno cheese. <sighs> you may wonder why I plant so many peppers. There's really no good explanation. I'm just obsessed. You can wash these cloth pots and use them for at least three years. This? Yeah. There's a lot of mildew. I know, but I can wash it. This is probably another volunteer. I was hoping.
killing all these volunteer tomatoes would be more would be less susceptible to mildew, but uh, that is not the case. It's uh, a milkweed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee. And alfalfa. and rug, as we used to say. Okay. So we're going to squeeze one tomato plant right here because last year I had that huge Aunt Ruby's German green tomato in the ground in that raised bed there, but uh, it's a little cramped, so we're putting it in a seven gallon pot and we're going to put it right here. This is a black trifle, or trifle, T-R-I-F-E-L-E. -E. It's got a lot of flowers on it. It's also got some mildew on it, and, um, but I'm very hopeful if we get it in the ground, it'll produce some tomatoes. It is 527 and Eric left about 405 and he said he didn't have time to water so he said you gotta water so I started that and two young ladies two sixth graders came down from down the street one has recently moved here from London her name is Ella and she was with Maddie who is a neighbor and they have an orchard I was showing them around and then Zachary dropped over for a strawberry so I got a quick picture of the three of them. So I just got through watering. It took an hour. I'm exhausted, but my spirit is so... I mean, I got a second wind in the afternoon. It was... I thought at lunchtime I was done. But this garden is endlessly fascinating and demanding. <laughs> oh. 
but nobody made me do it. 